Hi there, my name is Andreas. I'm from Semantic Web Company and I will give you an overview of Pool Party for SharePoint. So what are the challenges we try to solve? SharePoint Search has some issues for many users when it comes to large repositories where complex folder structures have been set up. There's a lot of content inside the, these structures and you need to know exactly where all types of contents reside. So unless you don't know exactly what you're looking for, you sometimes fail with the traditional SharePoint search. Most often you find your own content even. Why? Because of course, if it stays on a term-based search, a full text search, then you frequently find your own content um, because you know your language better than all the others. That's clear. So Pool Party for SharePoint addresses exactly that problem and auto-classifies documents inside SharePoint uh, based on a knowledge model, a domain model, which comes with all the relations and synonyms typically important for this particular knowledge domain. From a technical perspective, it is fully uh, synced with TermStore. So TermStore in SharePoint still works as it should. It's just you replace, so to speak, the environment in which you manage your terms by the pool party interface, which comes with a lot of additional features um, and helps to create really large um, taxonomies. And then last but not least, the semantic search feature is uh, obviously what the user will mainly benefit from. You can still manage your own tags if you're not happy with the um, auto uh, tagging itself. So there's a dialogue which allows you to refine the tagging results and it's all integrated with um, yeah, the modern SharePoint architecture. It's making use of the Microsoft Graph API and all other Azure functions uh, you typically would uh, like to have in place. So this is the result, the search itself for the end users comes with additional refiners, powerful autocomplete, an info box which explains the context uh, around the search term. And you see also quickly how documents got tagged. So what's inside of a sometimes pretty lengthy PDF. Here's a quick demo. So this is a typical situation. You have a lot of documents. You see the tags attached here. Blue ones are auto tagged. This one uh, comes from a refinement, which has been done manually. And the tags attached to the documents results in better search. So you can here select from different libraries, start searching, let's say for wind park. Still you get, for instance, wind farm, because it's just a synonym for that. And here you get an info box. You can also take a look at this one here. And here you can drill down and say, I'm just interested in wind turbines, for instance. And here we have the result set. So that's pretty much it. I hope you liked it and talk soon. Bye bye.